Welcome back to Tommy Time. Thanks for coming out, kids and cadets. Doing a little uh, experiment here with uh, my sons trying to help me get uh, the commons to show up. So he just helped me put this Remington machine together. This is something that I bought on AliExpress. I paid uh, one fifty six for the for this. I got two in the deal. So we just put this one together. I had um, previously done this uh, Cenex machine, and that was a little more complicated, but too, not too bad. The wheels were off of the machine. I had to uh, put the handle on it. And the side chute, this one here pretty much came put together. The wheels were already on it. The uh, handle was folded down. All I had to do was um, help have my son help me adjust the wheels to the highest deck position and then we put uh, two uh, bolts here on the handle to secure that. So if you're looking for a small baby 20 I would try to get one with the, the, the least parts to put together. This Remington here would be a good choice. It was nearly put together. It took us five minutes to add oil. The oil came in a 15 ounce pouch. My son added it with a long funnel. The um, Cenex came with an actual oil jug of 15 ounces. It was a plastic container so they weren't a little cheap on the Remington. They used a plastic pouch to save, save the environment. So the only um, other differences is the um, handle design on this Remington. The uh, brackets pre-bolted to the uh, deck on the Cenex. I actually had to take the um, handle tube and I bolted it to the uh, deck with two bolts on each side. So that was a little more effort with this style handle. Like I said, the uh, Remington came together, um, came in the box more complete than the Cenex did. So we're still trying to decipher how to open up the, the chat window on this right now and uh, we'll, we'll keep messing with this. So we're going to release um, a pre-tape video we just got done maybe 30 minutes ago. Then two people showed up to buy mowers. I had a guy buy a Craftsman with a bag cell propelled. And another guy pulled up just then and he bought the um, green John Deere with the big uh, rust spot on the, the top of the deck. I had listed that for 150 He took it for 150 the uh, battery was dead. I told him maybe if he changes out the battery, the um, unit may work for him. But he, he didn't really care about the electric start. He wanted to be able to just pull it. He pulled it with one yank and it started. I think he'll be a happy customer. I got a few others that are going to come out later today. And... Um, a few scheduled for t tomorrow. So, uh, my son's trying to do a little research on this to see why we can't have the uh, split screen with the chat. So, maybe I have an older version. I'm not sure. But that just turns the uh, camera around. Does it even say that you're live right now? I can't find it. Use the setting. Oh, okay. He's using his uh, smartphone and it doesn't say I'm on right now. What I've had to do before is uh, download download this and it'll go to uh, live. Maybe that's an issue. Because once I s have stopped the other live sessions, it, it uh, seems to want to upload. So, I don't know. We're plowing through it. My son is in a 
YouTube expert, but he's pretty handy with a smartphone. So we're trying to figure this thing out. What's this icon here? You don't have any viewers or anything like that right now anyway, so I don't think it would. Maybe someone, that's what I was trying to find your live stream so I could pop in and put some chats up. Oh, oh so I can yeah. see why. I've had a few before and it says live and I'm not getting a buffering um, signal. So I don't know why it's not doing it. What's this thing here? It's uh, filters. And what's that? Settings. There's nothing else down here. Mm -hmm. I do this. I don't think that changes anything. It just moves the camera. Yeah, I thought maybe it would pop up another box on the side so you can read it. Yeah, yeah. I did mess with something the other, the last time, and it made it a split screen, but I hit something here. But it didn't give me the. Um, chat box so we're at a standstill sorry this didn't do anything for us maybe what I can do is um, send out a notification when I have a set time it's just hard to do that I don't know where I'm going to be or what's happening or who's showing up for a mower or when my son has a day off so it's kind of hard to schedule an 8 a.m. on Saturday morning but maybe we can try to do that in the future maybe having a set time might bring some people into the chat and we can figure out how to do the split screen because uh, right now we're dead in the water i'm an old guy that just works under a shade tree turning wrenches and uh my son is not a youtuber are you on twitter or any of that jazz he stays off of all that jazz that might be a good practice to follow under the radar under the radar yeah don't get out there and put pictures of you jumping off bridges or drinking six quarts of tequila that's probably not the best thing for for, for future um, job interviews that's what i'm saying yeah right right yeah don't don't do that not that you would do any of those mm -hmm. daredevil feats anyway so we're at a standstill here my son's pretty much given up on this deal. There's, there's not much more he can do. Do you have any words of wisdom for the kids and cadets out there? No. Just keep, huh? keep on trucking, I guess. Yeah, yeah, keep on trucking. What about keep on mowing, since this yeah, is a mowing on. channel? Yeah, yeah. We've had uh, a dry spell here. My son and I were actually uh, discussing that when we left Charlie's sub shop that he thought it was kind of a dry summer and I will agree he said he remembers as a kid it would rain every day I like clockwork 4 30 to 5 30 something like that afternoon showers we can go now weeks here in southwest Florida without a rain shower so the other thing I see is uh, the Gulf of Mexico temperatures heating up mid 90s some places and that's terrible for the hurricane season which we're right in the middle of we don't want any warm Gulf of Mexico water temperatures it really fuels the fire so to speak so we don't want any shit shows like what we had last year down in Fort Myers Florida rough rough even for us in sarasota county manatee county we took a, a mild shellacking not as much as those folks but uh, we had damage here luckily fema picked up all the debris after a couple of months and now we're all back to normal again 
So it looks like that thunderstorm moved further east. I don't see any dark clouds or any lightning. Looks like we got the uh, sound Coast Guard. Yeah. Coast Guard's practicing. Looks like, yeah. Anyway, we're going to cut this one out. Sorry about that, kids. We'll get it right one of these days. Have a good week. My son says have a good week. We'll see you next time. Thanks. And uh, Monday, we'll, we'll throw that video up. Him and I threw this one together. There wasn't much to throw. It was practically complete. So this is an easy unit to put together. This Remington 300E Briggs powered machine 125 cc we'll talk to you soon thanks tip your waitress and wait staff which we did today at charlie's tip jar on the counter we left a a little bit of money for the for the cooks oh we got somebody coming out again okay so this may be three in a row here we got a guy stopping and a Big SUV, that means he's paying full price. That's a 2023 model right there. Like yeah, oh boy, he's he's full price. If he can afford that, 55 grand for that. Holy cow, he's paying the bills. He's paying for lunch. Right, Greg? Right. Okay, see you guys later. Got mowers to sell.